I'm Steve Neff, and I own Neff Tattoo Studio in Lancaster, Ohio. I've always done art my whole life. I've kind of, um, I was drawing pictures on my grandfather's lap. My mom said I would draw straight lines and circles. And nope, none of the other kids did that. And uh, I don't know, it's always been a part of me. I've always done this. I've always been able to draw or reproduce something on paper that's um, realistic, you know. I tried drawing my dad's whiskey bottle once and he, he wanted to know what I was doing and I said, well, I'm drawing it. He says, as long as you don't drink any of it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I didn't drink any, but I, you know, I drew the bottle and, and that sort of thing. I've always done it and I don't know why. I don't know where it comes from or any of that stuff. It's just, it's always been a part of my life. I realized that I wanted to try and teach college and get my master's degree and pursue this stuff um, in a really professional way. And um, I've, I've always liked tattooing. It's something that, you know, since I was 18, I had started getting tattooed. And um, I, I always really admired the, the skill and the I just love the whole art form, and it's really challenging, you know, I thought I would just, I'll pick this up, it'll be no problem, you know, and it, it was a lot more difficult than, than what people think. You can't just pick up a machine and start gluing without any knowledge of, of you know, what people's skin is like and um, how things look on the body. There's so many things you have to consider when you're tattooing someone, because it's a human being. This isn't a piece of paper. It's something that someone's living, breathing person that's going to walk around with your art on their body. And that's a real honor to be a part of that, you know. If humans have been scratching on each other's skin before they painted on the cave walls. It had a sacred relationship to the people, whether it had healing purposes or, and I, you know, I think tattoos still have that healing kind of quality. Um, it lets people express who they are um, and, and wear something that is really meaningful to them. I've always been attracted to craftsmanship. I think that it's important no matter what you do. If you're making a table, you have to know how to sharpen your chisels. You have to know how to sharpen your saw. You have to know how to cut straight. You know, th there's all these things that that need to be done correctly before you even touch the wood. And, and I think tattooing is a similar thing. I have a big storefront uh, studio and I wanted to set it up like an art gallery. I wanted it to have a classy feel. I wanted people to feel comfortable in here. Um, and I wanted want to be taken very seriously because I think of this very seriously. Um, it's an important job that I do and um, and I really want that to be reflected with what, what the space looks like. As an artist, you don't want to think that you're too great, then, you know, because you're not going to try anymore. If I thought everything that I did was amazing, then I'd really have no reason to keep trying to make it better. Um, so I feel like a, an artist is never really 100% happy with everything that they do because there's always this part that they think they could do better next time and, and when you have that you will always grow and you will always try to be a better artist and you will be a better artist and that and it's a journey throughout your life it's not really a destination 